Here's a conundrum for you. You've got two phones in front of you that seem exactly the same, but you can only choose one size. Which one do you choose? Well, if you're choosing between the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, your choices are pretty much big screen and bigger screen. Seriously, there's not too much that's drastically different here, save for the screen size. Both phones are practically the same on the inside. They both run on Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processors and 4 gigs of RAM, or the Exynos 8895 if you're overseas. So they're both well equipped for gaming and virtual reality. Though if VR is your focus, the smaller GS8 might actually be a better choice just for its higher pixel density, even if you won't immediately notice it. The Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are also incredible shooters, so if choosing a smartphone for its photographic capabilities is your concern, either one will do. It's yet another thing that makes choosing between the two so difficult. You'll get the special software features with both GS8s too, including Samsung's Assistant, Bixby, and some other software features carried over from the long-loved Note 7. The overall Samsung experience doesn't change between devices. What does is how comfortable your hand will be and how long the phone will last throughout the day. While the smaller GS8 has a larger display, at least relative to its processor, its 5.7 inch display is still more pocket friendly than the GS8 Plus's, not to mention easier to use one-handed. Not only can you navigate the screen with more ease, but you don't have to reach out with your thumb to pull down a notification shade or with your index finger to tap the rear fingerprint sensor. By contrast, you'll be doing a lot of reaching on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Its 6.2 inch display means it needs more chassis, which leads to more metal and glass for you to handle. I'm used to bigger phones because I actually prefer them, but if you're not, you'll have to adjust using two hands to get much usability out of the GS8 Plus, particularly for smaller handed, like me. There are definitely trade-offs to choosing the larger GS8, though they won't be instantly noticeable to you. Its 3500 milliamp battery pack, for instance, is 15% bigger than the Galaxy S8's, and though it's powering a little more screen, you're bound to get just a tiny bit more battery life out of it throughout the day. The larger screen size also offers more room for multitasking. You'll want that extra display for switching between multiple windows, editing photos, and even answering messages. That's why I like the Galaxy S8 Plus. In my mobile office lifestyle, I need a bigger screen to accommodate all the apps I'm shuffling through. And heck, I just want a bigger screen to look at pictures of everyone's pets. That's what brings me joy in the workday. Maybe it brings you joy too. Whatever your joy is, consider the size of the Galaxy S8 you want to adopt. Do you like the idea of the bigger screen with a larger battery but more body to hold? Or is something pocketable more up your alley? You can rest easy knowing that regardless of your choice, if you're choosing between the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus, you're simply choosing between two of the year's best smartphones.